let's start building our stand story theme website so the first thing you need to do is create your free system.io account i'm going to leave the link down below in this video to where you can get access to system.io for absolutely 100 free now this is one of the templates that system.io gives you for absolutely free but we're going to be creating our stand store theme website from scratch so we're going to delete all of these things one thing i want to point out over here to the bottom left you're going to see desktop version and mobile version. And when you click the mobile version, it's going to bring you to this format over here to where you can see how your website is going to look on a mobile device. Now I'm going to switch back to desktop version because what we're going to do since we're building it from scratch, we're going to delete everything off of this page. Now, as you can see, as you hover over different things, you'll see these borders pop up and each one of them is going to be green and then it's going to be orange and it's also going to be blue. Now green is for the entire section, that's why it's all highlighted. And then the orange is for your elements like text or images. Like for right here, this is an image and then this is text and it's orange. And then we have rows like this, which is what you'll put your elements inside of. The section is the house and then the rows are gonna be like the room. And then each element is the things inside the room, like your bed or your house. Now you can delete each one of these elements individually. Say for example, if I don't want this text, I could just hover over that element and click the trash can and click okay. You can also do the same for the rows. You can just hover over that row, click the blue, click the trash can and then press okay. But since we're deleting everything, I'm just going to do section by section so it could take all of those things inside of the section out at the same time. So all you would have to do is just go over here to the green, click the trash can and press OK. And you see it took away that entire element. Now, what I'm going to do is just delete all of these sections and we'll be right back. OK, so I deleted everything inside of this page. So this is how it looks on desktop version. And if we switch to mobile. You can see there's nothing here and it's waiting for me to drop my first element. Now the first thing we're gonna do to build out our stand store thing website is to add an image at the top. So all you have to do is just click image and then you can upload your images to system.io. Just click select the file and upload your image of yourself. Now, if you don't have an image, you can just go to Canva and use the free platform to create your image. You want to make sure you use the circle frame and then upload your image to Canva. Place it inside the frame and it's going to give you that nice round border. Once you're done, just download it to your device. Once you have that image, just click select file. I've already downloaded it. So find the file on your device, highlight it, click open, and then that image is going to get uploaded to system.io. Once it's uploaded, just go over to your images and then find that image, which it should be the only one if you just created your system.io account. It's going to pop over here to the right and then you're going to click on insert and now it's inserted into system.io now this image is way too big so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our editor you're going to make sure you're in the image mode and you're going to make sure you have that image highlighted on system.io as you can see the borders and then you just scroll down to the width that you want and then you can just drag it down like so so now that we have our profile picture now you have to do is just make sure that you're in the element section over here and you're going to scroll down and then we're going to add another section right here and then we're going to add another row and you can just click it and it's going to pop up right up under your picture so now that we have our row we're going to add a element which is going to be our text which is going to have the name of our sales under the picture so now all you have to do is just click on text now after you click text it's going to give you all this random stuff Another option you could do if we want to delete this, this gave us too much. You could just click on headline text and it'll give you something like that. Now, once we have that, we're just going to just slide it up right up under our picture and then we can delete this right here. Now, here is where you would want to put your name. So all you would have to do is just double click it and then it's going to highlight and then you can just key in your name. Once you do that, it should be right up under your picture. And right now we're making tons of progress. The next thing we're going to do is put our title, or our expertise up under our name. So all we would have to do now is just repeat that process. And there's two ways you could do this. You can click duplicate and then this is going to make a copy of what you've already done or you could just come back over here and just click on headline text again and it appears right up under what we've already done all right so these fonts are a little bit too big so i'm going to make sure this is highlighted and then i'm going to come over here and just make it a little bit smaller so now that we have a few of our elements like our image and our text here we're going to change the background color now you can leave it white but i'm just going to give it a little color to make it pop so what you would have to do is just come over here and you're going to click settings 
and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here to where you see background and we're going to change the color you can also add an image but i won't be doing that so i'm going to click on change background color and then it's going to bring up this little bar to where you can change the color we're going to make it a nice little blue color and as you can see it made the background blue so now I'm just going to go back because you can't hardly see the text. So what we're going to do is just click on the text and it's going to bring up this little bar right here. We're going to click on this and we're going to change the color to white. And as you can see now, my text is white over this nice blue background. Now that we have that done, what we're going to do next is we're going to add our button so people can click and go to our links and our affiliate products. So again, just make sure you're up under the elements tab and you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for button and you're just going to click that. And as you can see here, that button came and now we can make some changes and tweaks so the first thing you're going to want to do is just click on the button element over here and then you're going to see this change over here so now you have some options what do you want to happen when they click the button right now it has submit form but we don't want that to happen we want to send them to whatever web url where our affiliate links where our affiliate products will be so next thing you will put is open url and then here is where you would copy and paste your URL link. So just for educational purposes, I have a free course that I give away for free for people to learn more about affiliate marketing. So I'm just going to go to that website and copy my link right here. And then I'll come back to system.io and then here you would just paste your link like so. And you're going to want to press enter. Now, I don't like what the button is saying. So what we're going to do is just change the text on here. So once you click the button, all you have to do is just scroll down and you'll see the typography and then you can change the text. So while we're here, I'm going to make some other changes to this button and I want to change the color of the border and then I want to change the color to white. And as you can see, there's a little border around the button. Then once you have the color you want, you can just click off and then it's going to be set. All you have to do now is just click on duplicate and then it's going to make copies of all your buttons and you can do as many as you like. And then you can repeat these steps any type of way that you want, but it's good just to do the first button, set it to how you want. So all you got to do is just change the links in the text. Now, one last thing we got to do, you see how the color is cut off and it's white at the bottom. All you're going to want to have to do is just go up here and cl click that section and you're going to want to click on settings. And then once it opens up the settings over here to your left, you're going to want to go down, go down to the, the padding right here. And then you're going to go to the bottom and just put it all the way down like that. Once you have everything set the way you want it, you want to click save changes.